Dr. Alan Christensen here, and I want to tell you about what the goals really should be for treatment of thyroid disease. A friend of mine, Mary Shaman, is a wonderful patient advocate. She's written several best-selling books and helped countless people. She did a big survey many years back, and she asked those that were known to have thyroid disease how many still had the same symptoms they had at the time of diagnosis. The answer she got was really not an okay answer. She found out that over half of people who've been diagnosed with thyroid disease weren't really doing better than they were substantially when they got the diagnosis. So that's not acceptable. That's not the goal of treatment. The problem is that we look at averages. You know, we think about blood levels being okay when they're average. I'm not sure if you know this, but they've had to retool um, airplane seats and stadium seats for a very important reason. That's because the average width of a butt is no longer the optimal width of a butt. <laughs> and this is true for thyroid disease also. So the average scores, the average levels that we see on blood tests are very biased. The people that get the most thyroid blood tests have the worst thyroid disease. And at least 85% of those who have thyroid tests already are known to have thyroid disease. And of them, those that have the most erratic, unstable, hard to manage disease, they're getting the most frequent testing done. So people that have the best thyroid function, they're doing things besides going to the laboratory having thyroid tests. They have less of a contribution to that score. So medicine has made this big broad range of what's said to be normal, but it's not reflective of healthy function. And consequently, when people are diagnosed and treated, treatment stops or it's plateaued when they're back inside that normal range, which is only normal for those that have thyroid disease. So if treatment can be done at an appropriate level of detail and done to achieve optimal scores, the symptoms can clear up and you can really have your life back again. You know, your hair can come back, your energy can improve, your weight can go back to where it should. Those things are possible and they should be goals. The final goal is maintenance of the thyroid structure. The vast majority of those that have had thyroid disease have not yet had their baseline ultrasound that's recommended by the American Thyroid Association. The fastest increasing type of cancer in North America today is thyroid cancer. It is more common among those that do have thyroid disease. If you've never had an ultrasound, now's the time for the first one. It's so important. If you've had one and it's been many years, in most cases you want them done annually. Now thankfully, one of the easiest ways to manage the structure of your thyroid is to optimize the function. So when you're treated in a way to where your scores are not average but they're healthy, that by itself keeps junk from growing or makes any existing junk like nodules, calcifications, or goiters less apt to grow. So the ultimate goal of treatment is long, healthy, sustainable life and really having at least the level of health you had before all this started, if not better.